what's up what's up my beautiful beautiful people <sighs> well here we are another day <laughs> another day so um i wanted to talk about how um visualization is really important in so many ways um for those of you who come from a negative thinking process and a lot of that negative thinking may also come with some negative visuals too i think we all we all do that like you you can think of something um negative and it may come with a negative um picture in your head and you know that comes from just we've programmed ourselves to do that i just feel like nobody said for us to do that we we did that because i, I just feel like a lot of times we don't we don't believe that things can just be all good you know there always has to be you know if something good happens to you that might to some people be an indication that something bad is about to happen like uh uh like that's too good to be true you know type but maybe it is and maybe you know maybe it is good because maybe this is healthy and you're so used to toxic things that when something healthy comes along, you're kind of nervous about it. But one thing that I've learned is that with visualization and, of course, repetition, that you can really reprogram those thoughts that, like, creep in and you could just be having a regular day and then all of a sudden boom you didn't thought some crazy shit <laughs> and so like I think I did a video before where it talks about if you think something negative follow it up with like three positives right after that and do that consistently and then you'll come to a point where it's like, as soon as you think something negative, your brain has, like your subconscious has already, it's already kicked in and it's, it's ready to give you three positive things behind that negative thought. So that's one thing is like to, once you say something or think something negative, follow it up with three positives. And then something that, I started doing was um like when those crazy visuals come in your head and I'm talking crazy I'm talking like shit that you know damn well you probably would never do or it just be like your mind just really creates these scenarios to where you know you wouldn't do that shit so what I started doing was uh, <laughs> like certain stuff, depending on what it is. So let's say that uh, I was, I'm just saying hypothetically, like say I was fearful of in the, in the, in the visual in my mind that somebody was going to harm me, physically harm me. Right. So in my mind, what I did was I created this other thought to counteract that thought and it started to battle <laughs> it was like it was like a kung fu movie <laughs> it was like for real it was like a kung fu movie and like the shit in my mind that was like trying to harm me i created like this superhuman me and like i kicked this ass and the thought literally went away and so i've noticed that with me doing that type of visualization it has helped me to combat a lot of that crazy ass thinking that i'm sure we all tend to do just create a scenario 
in your head. So instead of, you know, um, and, and another thing too with that, with your dreams, when, when, when you're resting and you start to have these dreams where people are harming you or trying to harm you, Another powerful thing to do too to combat your thinking and your subconscious and all of that shit is you take control of your dream. Take control of it. So just try it one night. Just when you're, if you're in that type of dream where you're, and a lot of times we don't even be aware that we're in the dream because the dreams be feeling so real and like this shit. It feels real. But really, it's not. <laughs> so just try it. Like, try to take control of your dream and anybody in the dream who's trying to harm you. Like, kick their ass. Like, just try it. Because, see, I had this one dream. And then I'm going to bounce. I had this one dream where this, um, I was clearly um, like a shaman or like a witch, a witch doctor. I was something like extremely powerful. And I had, I was living, it kind of pushed in the mind of like New Orleans. And I was living like in this house, in this backwoods, kind of around like a lot of marshland and swamps. And people knew me, right? But there was this one white guy who stayed kind of like, not on the same land as me, but like his land was like further down. And... I don't know what was happening to me, but he must have gotten a hold of something because I was starting to doubt my powers. And he was like fucking with my animals, you know, on my farm. He had started to put a lot of fear in me and my family. And that dream kept going. It kept coming to me very frequently. And so... I was listening. I don't know. I think I was listening to to uh, my uncle Bobby Hemmick. I ain't really my uncle, but y'all know I fucks with. <laughs> I feel like in my head, Bobby Hemmick is my uncle. So whatever. <laughs> but, and I've adopted Panic too. So whatever. But anyway, <laughs> and so one night I told myself, if that dream comes back up, this white dude got me fucked up like he not about to continue to do this to me and so i took it that show enough that dream came back and i took control of that bitch i did a spell and within that spell i had some alligators come out the swamp and i put something uh on the alligators to where they knew to go to his land and i uh had, I programmed those alligators to go to his land and those alligators ate him, his wife, his children, and I programmed them alligators to go get all of his offspring. Grandmothers, grandpas, everybody. I eat them all up. <laughs> and when I did that, that I haven't had that dream since. I haven't had that dream since. So that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of this, like all is mental. All is mental. So if you can combat those negative thoughts with three positives or however many positives you want to do. I did three. If you combat your thoughts, your negative thoughts with three positives behind it and when you have those those negative visuals and you take control of that visual and you create some type of scenario to where you kick that thing's ass, that's something else. And then when you have these dreams too, take control of your dream and let that whatever know in your dream don't fuck with me. It's all about getting your mind to a place where it cannot be fucked with. It can, things will try, you will try yourself, but you got to let it know. Can't fuck with me. So anyway, I'm about to get out of here. 
that's all I wanted is because I was thinking about that yesterday like wow just the things that I've overcome just by doing that and being consistent with it so y'all have a great day <laughs> and um whenever it's time to share again I'll be back all right <laughs> peace